about nouns. Description, example and types of nouns. And description of gerund. But on the one, here all I and my friends will explain to some types of the nouns. I will explain about proper noun, common noun, and example for gerund. Hello guys, I'm Mainda, and I want to explain about concrete noun and abstract noun, and also how to differentiate about gerund noun and proper noun. Hi guys, I'm Mela, and now I want to explain about collective noun and component, and also about gender specific noun. Okay, nouns are words used to name or refer to people, things, place, and ideas. In other words, it refers to both physical objects and abstract concepts. Anything that has a name is called a noun. Often a noun will be the name for something we can touch it, for example like book, car, and flower. But sometimes, a noun will be the name for something we cannot touch, for example, like grateful and patient. Some examples for noun, like people, rubina, girls, and doctor. Animals like fox, horse, and sheep. Place like United Kingdom, beach, and garden. Objects like shoes, handphone, and book, and qualities like pleasure and hesitation. There are several types of nouns that we must understand starting for their definition, example, and use. There are also countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, instead for getting confusion, let's go start to the expression below. Proper nouns. Proper nouns refer to specific people, places, things, and ideas. Proper nouns should always be capital. The example of proper nouns. Example proper nouns for people. Harry, Yadi, and Yanti. Example proper nouns for places. Medan and Binjai. Example proper nouns for things. Jupiter and Scoopy. Example proper nouns for ideas. Monday, June, July. Common nouns. Common, common nouns refer to people, places, things, and ideas. They are not capital. The example of common nouns. Example common nouns for people, men, women, and boy. Example common noun for places, city. Example common noun for things, animals, days, and week. Example common noun for ideas. Happiness and sadness. Now I want to explain about concrete noun and abstract noun. Concrete nouns are the things which we can see or touch physically. And for example, buvalo, car, chair, table, pen, or and book. And abstract noun are things you cannot see or touch. Abstract nouns don't have physical existence. This Nouns are difficult to guess. And for example, love, envy, struggle, freedom, disappointment. Okay, guys, now I would like to define about collective nouns. And what is collective nouns? Collective nouns are words that denote group collection multitude of something. Example, such a people, audience, comrade, etc. After knowing about what is collective noun, then I will tell you about component. Component is a noun that consists of more than one word. For example, background, bedtime, copyright, etc. Countable noun. Countable noun is a noun that can be counted in numbers like one pen, two cars, with both a singular and plural form. Example, dog, dogs. Next. Uncountable noun. Uncountable noun is a noun without a plural form, for example, sugar, honey, money, etc. Such nouns do not include counting. 
all abstract noun falls under the uncountable category of nouns. Giron noun. Giron nouns are verbs that are added with ing for ing and function as nouns. Example, reading, traveling, and watching. Okay, the example of Giron as subject. Number one, traveling is my hobby. Number two, reading a book makes me smart. Example of Jiran as object. Five, my family and I like watching TV together. Next example of Jiran as compliment. Like, something I like to do is thinking about you. Next, Example of Jiran as object of proficiency, like you are good at speaking English. And what is gender specific noun? A gender specific noun is a noun that refers specifically to someone of something, male or a female. Example: Noun refer referring to females is queen. Noun referring to males is king. The following are not gender specific nouns: is soldier. What about noun? Verbal nouns are nouns derived from verbs and do not have verb-like properties. Example, building, drawing, attack. How to differentiate gerund noun and verbal noun? To understand difference between gerund noun and verbal noun, look at given example. The first, the ceremonial raising of the plague has started, and uh, the second, raising the plague. Carefully is much difficult. Like gerund nouns, verbal nouns are also derived from form verbs. But unlike gerund, they have non-verb properties. In above given example, the verbal noun raising is not showing any verb-like qualities. It is not modified by a determiner and an an adjective. The end ceremonial. Ceremonial and it requires an proposition of to link it to the flag. In contrast, in the sentence raising the flag carefully is much difficult. The word raising, which despite being spelled the same, is now a gerund, is showing verb like qualities. More especially, it is modified with an adverb carefully. Verbal nouns are usually preceded by a or an order and followed by a preposition example of infra this makes them pretty inefficient from a word count perspective also a sentence with verbal nouns can often sound stuffy however verbal nouns can give an air of formality or provide emphasis so we should all care about verbal nouns for two reasons one Replacing verbal nouns with verbs and gerund will reduce reduce your word con and improve sentence flow. And two, sentence featuring fewer verbal nouns could portray you as to be bad or authoritative good. Employ them smartly to turn to your needs.